So one more example here of finding the sum of a convergent geometric series. So here we've got the series from n equals 3 to infinity of pi to the n plus 1 over 6 to the n. So in this case, um, you know, again, I see this number raised to the n, but, you know, this has an n plus 1. This is just raised to the n. The first thing I'm going to do is sort of uh, break up that exponent. So I could write this as pi to the n times pi to the first, right? With like bases, we would just add the exponents. So we can certainly stick uh, pi to the n times pi to the first back together as pi to the n plus 1. And then it's still being raised, uh, or excuse me, it's over 6 to the n power. Okay, pi is just a constant. We can factor that out front. And then we'll be left with pi to the n over 6 to the n, but we can simply write that as pi over 6 raised to the n. So now I'm thinking, okay, I've got my geometric series where r equals pi over 6, and I'm thinking, you know, pi over 6, is that in between positive 1 and negative 1? Well, pi is a little bit bigger than 3, you know, so this is roughly, you know, roughly 3 over 6 or a half. And that's certainly going to be in between positive 1 and negative 1. So this is going to be a convergent geometric series. So we'll have pi times, again, just the pi from out front. Um, it says the first term, so our first term in this case, we'll have to plug in n equals 3. So we'll get pi over 6 raised to the third power. That would be our first term. And then we just have 1 minus our r value which is going to be pi over 6. And that's going to be the sum in this case. Um, you could certainly, uh, I guess, clean this up a little bit. Um, I guess let's clean it up a little bit. Let's see what we can't do here. So this is pi. I guess we've, I'm going to leave, I guess, pi to the third over 6 to the third. Let's see. We could get common denominators uh, in the denominator. So 6 over 6 minus pi over 6, that would be 6 minus pi over 6. Let's see. So we've got uh, pi to the third over 6 to the third. We could flip and multiply 6 over 6 minus pi. Let's see. I guess we can cancel out this 6 with 1 in the bottom. We could multiply the pi through. So it looks like we would have pi to the fourth in the numerator. And then we would have 6 squared times 6 minus pi. And I'm going to leave it like that. Again, you can make this 36. You could distribute it out. But that would be the sum of our geometric series in this case. So this, again, is kind of a common little trick. Um, you know, just taking a single exponent, taking a single exponent and breaking it down. This is something you do a lot of times with these series, or at least it's a step I do to make things a little bit clear. Um, and people kind of forget about it. You know, we're used to having like bases and adding the exponents, but we kind of forget about, you know, if we're adding exponents that we can also break it down. So kind of keep this trick in mind. Uh, we'll use it, you know, just as a little algebra tool just to help us uh, kind of clean things up.